Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today's video is going to be a request video. You asked me how should you apply your cream stick foundations. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to be using two shades to demonstrate how I apply cream stick foundations whether I'm using it on myself or my clients. This method that I use, I find it very easy and the application is smooth and flawless. But before I get started, I'd like to dedicate this video to Cousin Melody and Audrey. They came out from California to visit us in New York, visit the family in New York. I just wanted to let them both know that I had a wonderful time. I enjoyed all the food, the fun, uh, the games that we played. We had a great time um, this time and uh, I just wanted to say thank you. And I also wanted to thank them both for watching my videos. I do appreciate it. And a special shout out to Melody's friends and co-workers who also watch my videos also. I do appreciate all the California love. And a special thanks to all of you who watch my videos, who stop by every each and every day and watch my videos. Uh, whether you leave a comment or if you just say, um, hi Des, I really do love that. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot for all the love. Okay, I'm going to get started. Again, this is a request video on how I apply cream, cream stick foundations. Now the foundations I'm going to be using, again, like I said, is two foundations. This one is called Truly Topaz and it's by Black Opal. And th this is called Hazelnut and this is by Black Opal as well. I'm going to be using two different shades. Let me see if I can pump that up for you. This is the darkest of the two. Again, this is Hazelnut. And I hope that you can see that. That's hazelnut. And this is truly topaz. I just want you to see the color difference. And that's the color difference. And I'm just going to blend them together. Now this, this method I'm going to show you, this is how I apply cream stick foundation on myself and my clients. So before I get started, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to use a foundation sponge. And you can just run it under water if you like, squeeze out all the water, or you can simply use a spray bottle just to spray your sponge. But either way, you want to start out with a damp sponge. The sponge I'm going to be using is a sponge by Mally Cosmetics. This is the way it's packaged. Uh, the sponge is a large square sponge or triangle shaped sponge, I'm sorry guys, and it's extremely soft and um, I like using these sponges. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using my own foundation sponge that I've been using for the past week. Um, another thing about these sponges from Mally Cosmetics is that when you wash them, they don't they don't return to their white pristine color. They, they kind of stain, but that's okay. I use this on myself and so it's okay with me. So now my, my sponge is wet. Uh, or I should say it's damp and this is how I apply the foundation I'm just going to wipe the sponge on both products just swipe it a couple of times so that you can get some color on the sponge and this is how I apply it in a dabbing motion I'm going to start on the areas where it's really dark on my face and I'm just going to pat that in just pat it in just like that and what I find by doing it this way is that you get an even thin distribution of cream foundation. You can just apply this to your skin like that. Some people just swipe it on, but I find that applies a very thick color. A lot of times it looks thick, it looks cakey, um, and it, it usually if you're blending out with a brush, a foundation brush, it does leave streak marks. So this is the best way that I know how to apply the cream stick foundation without it looking heavy, cakey, or streaky from a brush. So I'm going to continue. And I'm going to start to blend. And I just softly just blend it downward. You can blend it upward, it doesn't matter. Just softly blend it. And I'm not going to blend any under my eyes. I'm going to show you how I apply this cream stick foundation under my eyes. Now, as you can see, I have dark circles, um, so I'm just going to be doing the same thing. This brush is so soft, I won't be moistening it at all. You can if you want. I won't be doing it. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of both. I'm just tapping that on. There's the color, and I'm just going to go in and just tap that color right in there. And you want to do 
do it to both eyes. And then you want to just buff it out. If you want to have a lighter look under your eye, which is what I like to do, I'll go back in and add the lighter of the two. I'll pick it up and then I will go back just below the eye socket area, tap that color in, and then I'm going to blend it out. Quick and easy. Next thing I'm going to be doing is setting this cream foundation that's on the face. You need a very lightweight powder to help set your, your makeup look. Setting your makeup look usually helps to make it last longer throughout the day and it doesn't break down as quickly if your skin is oily. Setting powder I'm going to be using is not a setting powder but it's a block, block powder by MAC and block powders by MAC are just meant to absorb the oil on the skin. I'm going to be using this as my setting powder because my skin is very oily and my skin does respond very well to MAC block powder. So to set this foundation I'm going to be using this sponge. It has a little finger catch on the back. I'm going to just put the little soft, this is a very soft sponge, it's very, very velvety. You can get these for a couple of dollars at the beauty supply store and at the local drug stores. I'm going to start by just pressing that pressed powder, that blot powder rather, right into the skin. And you just want to press it in. And don't worry that it looks cakey and powdery at this point. It won't look like that once we blend it out. You just want to get that powder pressed into the skin so it can start setting the foundation. And now with this Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush. This is a flat top synthetic brush, I'm sorry. This is the F80. I'm going to use that to buff down the powder to get a beautiful airbrush look. And you don't get streaks either when you do it this way. And that's it guys, that's it. That's how I apply cream stick foundation. I just use that moistened sponge. Any sponge will do as long as it's nice and damp. And um, you just apply it a little at a time. So that's it. If you have any questions about the application, just please leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them and get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, thank you so much for watching my videos. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for subscribing. So take care guys, be well, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.